Hello and welcome to Ivy Basics Part 4. In this video we're going to focus on tying the pieces together, that is the little pieces from Basics 1, 2 and 3. So if this was a math question, um, it's going to look something like this. There's going to be an order which in this case is 50 mLs over 20 minutes. So if you notice this here is the IV bag. The IV bag is 50 mL volume and the instruction is to um, start to run the IV over 20 minutes. The other piece of the question is the drop factor. So in this case they have given you the type of tubing that you will be using. And then the question says how many milliliters per hour would you set the pump at? So here's two clues to tell you that this is a pump and it's running on electricity therefore the final answer is milliliters per hour. The second part of the question says what is the flow rate in GTT per minute. So this here tells you that this part of the IV of the math question is running on gravity. So let's put the pieces together and figure out this question. Let's do part one. The first part is asking you to find out how many milliliters per hour you would deliver to your patient. So the way I do this math is I put the milliliters per hour on the end. This tells me that this should be my final unit. This also gives me a clue that the milliliter will always be a numerator and that the hour will always be a denominator, just for visual. Now let's pull out the pieces. So here's your IV bag. Um, let's pull out the IV bag first. I have a 50 ml bag to run over 20 minutes. Now my next piece would be to ask, do I need the GTT per ml? Because this is running on a pump and because this is milliliters per hour, I do not need to know what the tubing factor is. But what I do need to know is what is the conversion that's going to take me from minutes to hours because as you can see we have a disconnect. So we know that 60 minutes is an hour and because I need the hour to be a denominator, I'm going to set that up here and I'm going to say 60 minutes up here. Now just to do a quick spot check, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the minutes and let's see what's left. So I'm left with milliliters on the top, which is great because that's what I want. And I'm left with hour on the denominator, which is what I want. So the like terms have gone away. What I'm looking for is there. So now is when I can say, okay, let's calculate. So when you do the math on this, um, we get 3000 on the numerator divided by 20 to give us 150 mLs per hour. So that's your IV that's running on a pump. Now the same IV can also be run on gravity. In this case, the final answer is going to be GTT per minute. And for this too, you're going to pull out the different pieces. And I always like to start with the bag. I have a 50 ml bag that needs to run over 20 minutes. Now, in this case, I'm looking for GTT. So I definitely need to pull out the tubing because that's the only way I can introduce the GTT into the question. And because I'm looking for GTT, I'm going to make sure that the 20 GTT stays as a numerator and the ML is my denominator. So now I don't have any other pieces to pull out and I'm going to do a quick spot check to see what cancels out. I notice that the MLs go away and what's left is GTT on the numerator and minute on the denominator. And if you notice, that's exactly what I wanted. I need the GTT and I need the minute and the MLs go away. So once you get to this point of having the units that you want and getting rid of all the other like terms, this is a good check for you or checks and balances to say, okay, I'm ready to calculate. So when you do this question, um, you get a thousand as the numerator and then we get divided by 20. So that should give us 50 GTT per minute. So this is how you set up the questions. Just make sure a couple tips here because students do tend to trip on how to set it up. I always like to keep the bag as one fraction. I like to keep the conversions as one fraction. Keep the tubing as its own fraction. It's just the way you set it up. So this way you have all of them individually lined up uh, make sure you cancel, make sure you check to see that what you need is what's left behind, and then calculate. In this case, we have a bag here too. So the same IV can be run in milliliters, 
and in GTT. The, the steps don't change. What's the final unit? Start out here. What is the IV bag? What is the tubing if you need it? What is that conversion if we need it? As long as you line them up, as long as you cancel, you should always have a right answer for the map. Hope this video was helpful. We'll see you in the next one.